You are not doing nothing wrong. The five people I'm talking to. You are not doing nothing wrong. That thing that's bothering you has been assigned to you because of your anointing. Please get this, Keith. You're not doing nothing wrong. It's been assigned to you. The experiences have been ordained for you. It's assigned because you've been called to a specific purpose. And that spirit is going to be with you to try to discourage you. And after you get delivered, it's still going to be there. If you need an offer, if you need an offering for envelope, if you need an offering envelope, please lift your hand, let him serve you. You may be seated for a moment. I love God. You know, generally, love, let me share something with you that's far more important. It's the day I learned to receive his love for me. I have no issue in my relationship with God today. I am accepted, totally accepted by God in Christ Jesus. I had an experience today in my early morning prayer around 4 o'clock. Since you're all my friends, I'm going I'm to share it with you. Last night was a great, a great warfare night in, in our home. Which is normal, it's not in there, that's normal, so I just don't, don't talk, you know. I don't, I don't respond to anything. But as I went to pray this morning, I began to worship Jesus. I just you begin to worship. Because at this point, I want you to walk with me. Now, this is the same anointed preacher you see here. When I went to pray this morning, I had very little hope. Didn't even know what to pray for. Didn't know how to pray because it felt like everything was lost. It felt like I was tired of fighting. And church folk kind of this kind of stuff. It just felt like I had nothing else to fight for. I'm giving you all I have, Lord. I don't know. The only reason I told the Lord is I'm going to pray because you asked, you, you command that I pray. But I'm not praying expecting anything. And I began to worship. And I spent an hour in worship. And all of a sudden these songs began to birth out of me and worship to Jesus. Just songs. And I can't remember none of them right now. I was trying to remember them coming in so I could sing one. Somebody say amen. <laughs> but, 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 I can't remember none of them right now, but the ship, I, I spent a good 45 minutes, an hour, and worship just in new songs. Songs that were coming out of my spirit, just worshiping him, just worshiping him, because at that point, my faith was not working. My hope was to keep me going. Wow. And as I began to worship, I began to purge. And he relieved me of all these things that was on my back so I could get here this morning and do what I have to do. Amen. Are y'all walking with me? What am I telling you? This apostolic call is not church as usual. If God's going to use you in this call, let me say this to you. If God's going to use stand up, we get ready to go. Because I've been here for a long time. Can I do this, Q? Yes, yes, yes. Tell me, can I do this? Yes, you can. The Holy Ghost just tell me to tell somebody to be qualified for this call. And, 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 and all of you have it. That's why I guess those who didn't, didn't make it today, I, I, that's, that's just my belief. But you have to be. God's way of doing things is you got to be burnt. I'm done. What he's telling me is to tell his children, don't give up now. Be not buried in well doing. For in due season you shall reap if you faint not. Sometimes the greatest fight is to continue. Sometimes the greatest testimony is, I'm still here. Sometimes people talk about their house and all you, you should just happy that I'm still here. What God wants me to tell these five or ten people I'm talking to is, God has not forgotten you. Before you get the mic in your hand, you have to die. Can I say that again? 
before you get this in your hand the way it could affect somebody's life, well, you can tell a Bible story, yeah. but before this is in your hand the way it could affect somebody's life, you're going to have to be burned. People are not going to receive from you that they can smell smoke on you. They have to know that you have been there and done that. Hallelujah, Jesus. Can I talk to you right here? People, listen, in, in the church that we're in today, people are dance, but they're not going to receive from you unless they can smell smoke. Let me tell you something here. God is burning you. Don't you give up. He is, listen, that double ocean. There's a call and a charge on your life. And you try to best that you can, but the flames of heaven are upon you. Mm. Boy, that's the only place, man. When you being baptized by fire, you ought to be in the church, like, woo, fire baptized. No. I feel the fire. I feel the fire. No. When you're being baptized by fire, you're in pain, you're desperate, you feel rejected, you're lonely, you're cast aside, you're in the world all by yourself because nobody around you know you exist. Hmm. I'm going to say it because I'm closing. They have to, they have to smell fire on you. How do they know they have to smell the smoke because you've been burned? How do they know? They know in the spirit. Because when you release, they in the fire can receive. Amen. There's a familiarity that goes when the word release, the people who enter to receive it. Right, right. Ah, let me say it again. This is a revelation for me too. When you have been baptized and you smell like smoke and people are in the fire, when you open your mouth, their spirit can receive what you're saying. Let me give an example. We just had the our anniversary. We had preachers coming who were great preachers. But I told my wife, and I told Pastor Penders, y'all strong. But every time they start talking foolish, y'all shut them right down. Because your spirit couldn't receive it. Right. And if they don't have the no water to feed, they got to shut up. Right, 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 right. <laughs> when you have been burned, I'm talking to five people. The burning, and sometimes you ask God, how long the night? I got tired of hearing people prophesying to me. I was going to pastor the church. I got tired of it. I got tired of hearing people. God's going to do it. I got tired of it. But here I am. Because I didn't quit. If you saw the reverse side of this picture, you probably wouldn't even be in this church. If you knew the dark side of the picture, See, I'm, I'm the dude who stole from the church. I need to rock you. Stole from my brother's church. I won't even steal a nickel from nobody right now. Unless you turn your back or something. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But, but, are you feeling me? You got to go through it, Helen. You got to cry. You got to be burnt. And the thing is, he's trying to kill you so he can kill everybody coming after you. That's a great revelation this morning. If you receive that, clap your hand and give God praise. Now we get ready to go into our time of giving this service. is going a little bit long, but I had to get this out of my spirit this morning. And uh, I encourage you, please, to be a tither. That's God's kingdom economics, amen? That's kingdom economics. What we're going to do is... We just come receive it from you. Just, just, just get the baskets and walk down the aisle.